Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be covering the type of options you need to enable in an Adobe Connect meeting to have the best experience possible. Now to get started, everything is going to rely on your internet connection. So you want to make sure you're close to a strong area of your Wi-Fi, or if you're able, connect through an ethernet connection directly to your internet provider. You also want to make sure that your VPN is off if at all possible. A VPN redirects your internet, and so to make sure that you have the most direct connection to the Adobe Connect meeting, if you have that off, it's going to give you a much more stable connection. With that out of the way, one other thing you need to note before you really even look at the meeting is you want to make sure that you have your computer audio on, meaning that you have your audio volume down here on, like you see here with these sound waves, and not muted. You also want to make sure it's loud enough and high enough on this bar that you can hear it. You may even see other options when you click on this, if you have things like headphones or speakers plugged into your computer. So you want to make sure your audio output has been set up in advance so you know where the speakers are playing the audio out from. Now, in the Adobe Connect meeting, this is in the browser space. So if it's possible, it is recommended that you download the app, and you can do that here at this website. But if you're going to be connecting through the browser, there's a few special considerations. All these considerations are going to be pretty much the same if you're on the app, save for a few that I'll mention when we come to them. So first and foremost, in the Adobe Connect meeting, you have your speaker, and you want to make sure that that icon is green. It will be by default, but for whatever reason, if it's not, you want to go ahead and click on it, and it will be going from gray to green. So again, if it's gray, you want to click on it, and it will go to green. The only reason this would not be on is if you do not have speakers at all on your computer. On most laptops, you're going to have speakers, so that shouldn't be a problem. Next, if you want to enable a microphone option, meaning you're able to speak, then you want to make sure that you click on this icon right here. Now, depending on how your agency or your work's computer is set up, this may not be an option. You just might not be able to do it. So you want to make sure that you reach out to the hosts and presenters to see if speaking is enabled. And if it is, make sure that you can do so. If not, it's just going to be a, a matter of your IT setup on your computer. A recommendation here is to use a personal computer. It will give you the most, uh, I'd say, control in the meeting. You'll be able to do whatever you need to. You'll be able to install the app and enable all these features. So to enable the microphone, you're going to click on it. It's going to go from gray to green. Now, when you're working on a browser, you may get a pop-up that says allow media access somewhere over here on the top or enable media access or enable microphone. And if you have the option and you're able to, you want to click allow or yes or confirm. Again, if you're not, then that's just something that you won't be able to do for that particular meeting. And I would recommend reaching out to your IT to request setup on that. Now, once you've enabled your microphone, you want to go ahead and mute it. So you're going to click on it one more time and it's going to go from green to red. Now, when you are on the app, the actual desktop app, that setting is going to be exactly the same. You just won't have that pop-up asking about confirmation. It would just work. So we're going to be skipping over the hand-raising icon. That's pretty self-explanatory. Now, if your meeting has cart or uh, captioning services, then you're going to see the CC up here, and this will already be set up in advance. The only things you need to do is click on this CC icon, and it's going to go from dark gray to a slightly lighter gray, almost white. And as you can see, a little captioning box will appear down here. You can also click on this drop down arrow and you can click on text size to change that as well as color. And these will only change for you. You should only have one option, but if you see multiples, I would reach out to your host and presenters to see which option for the captioning is the correct one. Lastly, with the caption box, you can actually left click and drag and move this around wherever you need to, as well as resize it. And that's pretty much everything you need to know about setting up and getting started in your Adobe Connect meeting. Again, make sure your internet connection is stable, make sure that VPN is off, and if at all possible, connect through the app, not the browser. Always reach out to your host and presenters with questions via the chat, or reach out to your agency's IT to request assistance with any other matters. With that, enjoy your meeting and have a good day.